up everybody, welcome back. So in this video I'll be packing for my trip for three days to Mallorca. If you're going to like countries similar to that one like Mallorca or Spain for those days, like for three days or four days, then maybe this is the perfect video because I will be showing you what to take and how much to take. And I'm only going to be squeezing it in this little suitcase which is actually just free suitcase that you take with you when you have a ticket. So I am leaving tomorrow and right now it's like evening so I don't really have any makeup on, I'm just wearing plain clothes and I thought I'll make this video to show you how I'm packing. If you're interested then stay on and keep on watching. Why am I going to Mallorca? That's a good question and if you're about to ask that question I'm going to ask that question. So I'm going to Mallorca for only three days. The reason that I'm going only for three days it's because now, January time, is the perfect time where you can go on holiday for a few days to Spanish countries, if you know what I mean, like hot-ish but not really because we're still in Europe. This is not an African country. African country? This is not Africa, so it's not going to be really hot. But it's still going to be much hotter than probably where you are right now, unless you're there. So the flights were very cheap and the hotel is really cheap. I think in total, for bed and dinner, a nice hotel, like four star hotel and a ticket, I paid all together only £100. If you have any more questions, then please leave them down below. Otherwise, let's begin. So I'm going to be starting off with showing you my suitcase that I have. I bought this suitcase in Asta, actually. It was a few months ago. I used to use this suitcase for modelling because it's like small and I really like this design. It's on wheels, as you can see, and it has a handle, and it's black, and it's like a perfect small size, and it has a zip at the front, it has a zip at the back, it looks like this, and it has a little, little pocket on the side, and this, um, they're meant to hold your luggage, I guess, but it's meant to hold 10 kilos because that's allowed on the airport um, and the plane that I'm going on to unless you want to buy another suitcase for like a few more pounds but I don't want to because I don't have money and this is just meant to be a short nice trip to get away not an expensive trip because that's not why I'm going there so of course the most important thing that you need to take is like your documents, passport and money so that's the first section that we'll be talking about the most important things. So first of all, we're going to start off with a passport, obviously, because with the, without a passport, you can't go anywhere. And it has to be up to date. So here is my passport. Now I'm going to show you all my details, I'm joking. Then obviously you need a ticket, because I'm going only for three days, I have ticket there and ticket back. But also to be extra safe, I am taking a copy of each of those tickets, which I have just here. So I together have four papers. So ticket there, ticket bag and extra copies. Then the most important thing is obviously your money. Without your money, um, you might as well come back or you might as well stay there forever. So good luck. So I'm taking my wallet. This is from Guess. I got it ages ago and it's pretty scratched up now because when I used to have a parrot, it really liked that wallet. Inside my wallet, I have two cards. Again, I'm going to show you all my details to my cards because, you know, I need to spread the information on YouTube. I have my normal card, which... I get paid on and I have another card which I have some money on it but this other card is just for emergencies so I'm not really going to use it. As well I'm taking my driving class in just as a, like an ID or if I want to rent a car obviously not going to happen but you know just in case and in this pocket I have my monies. And the last important thing that I will be taking is my calendar. This is my little calendar and my pen I write everything in there so I will need it and I just like being organized so calendar here you come with me as well you'll be taking your uh, probably hotel documents if you're going to a hotel or you know like we taking a hotel booking and a reservation number or whatever if you have a taxi you take taxi information whatever you take the next section that we'll be talking about is clothes uh, because you want to look nice and you don't want to be naked so because it's only a small suitcase and i'm a girl i'm probably going to take like a thousand pairs of shoes because obviously you have to show them off but no i am not going to fit them anywhere so i need to 
think about what the weather's gonna be like and think about what I actually need. So unfortunately, I'm only taking two pairs of shoes. So my first outfit is the one I'll be traveling in. So I will be taking my shoes, white Nike Air Maxes, and they're really comfortable and they're just trainers. And weather's not gonna be like, excuse this shit. And weather's not meant to be really hot, so trainers will be just fine. Then I'm taking my pair of jeans. These are skinny, high-waisted jeans in this sort of color, but to match it with a jumper, because I'm taking a jumper in case it's cold, and obviously in here, like in England, it's cold, so I have to travel in something nice and warm. I'm taking my gray jumper. I really love this jumper. I'm not gonna have a top underneath, because I'm sure that's enough. But on top of that, I am taking a jacket and this is my jacket that I got from Poland and it's got this sort of design, I think it's like soldier-like design, but it'll be perfect. And then I'm only going to be there actually two days, so the next day, the day after that, and then the third day is travelling back day. So I can wear the same stuff, if you know what I mean, because obviously it's going to be a different place. So people won't see me, the same people won't see me, so it's good. So apart from that one trou pair of trousers that we had, the jeans, I'm taking another long pair of trousers and they're in this sort of color because I didn't want to take another like similar jeans, I wanted to take something different and they used to be my favorite like summer jeans so they'll be just fine but to match them with something nice I'm not going to be taking the jumper because I already have one in the case it's a bit warmer I'm taking this um, like top and the material of it it's a bit um, like skinnier if that makes sense but it's not as hot as the other jumper if it's cold I can just wear that jumper you know it's not an issue or anything but I'm taking those two just to wear when I'm there and so I don't have to wear the same plain clothes because I don't really want to and I know it's probably not gonna be hot but you know just in case you're going somewhere that might be a bit warmer whether you're going to the swimming pool or something you don't want to take your jeans with me so i'm taking my pair of shorts but they're not jeans shorts they're just kind of like running shorts material shorts and they're really comfortable so you can even wear them up around the house or hotel or just in case it's warm then i'll just wear these and i'm also taking a top this is a crop top and i don't know if it's going to be warm or not but i need at least one short sleeved top and if you're sleeping in pyjamas or something, whatever, then you want to take something to sleep in. I am just taking this top because it's really stretchy. Um, I currently actually don't have any pyjamas that are short set. I just have the warm ones for winter, so I need to get like new pyjamas. But um, I like to sleep in tops or vests as well. So this is perfect because it weighs like nothing and it's such a nice material. And yeah that can be like my pyjamas talking about shoes i am taking these flats i won't be taking any flip-flops because i won't be swimming or anything yes the hotel has swimming pool but i don't feel like flips flops are much much important than these shoes i think these shoes will be more important so i'll be taking um these flats but if you want to take a pair of flips or flops i actually haven't got one at the minute because it's winter and my last bit I threw in the bin. The last thing that we need to take is pants, socks and a bras. But I am taking just one, one extra bra and one that I'm traveling in. Here you want to have enough for each day. Unless you like being there and you like wearing the same pants every day, that's fine. You can just save up some space. But I'm taking one for every day. And I'm also taking my swimming costume. The most important thing that we need to take as well is, of course, makeup. But talking about not just makeup, but like, you know, shampoo, uh, conditioner, and body lotion or body, whatever you use, everybody uses different things. You want to remember that it's a hotel, and hotels usually are meant to have these things anyway. So I don't have space because I'm only taking my luggage, so I'm not going to be taking that much items. But I'm going to be showing you what I'm taking anyway. I'm taking this bag, it's kind of too big anyway, but it's really squashable and you can kind of open it even bigger, but I just like this bag really much. You can fold it, it's really bendy and I have this bag from Ikea. Makeup wise, I'm really not taking that many items. I am taking a cream, 
Remember, everything you take has to be below 100 mils shizzle and everything needs to be compressed into like a bag they give you unless you're on a different airport and uh, you're going to a different um, country but the one I'm going to these are the rules everything every item you have has to be less than um, 100 mils and has to all go in a bag so I, that's why I'm not taking that many items so I have the soft cream that I bought in a shop it has 25 mils and it's a um, moisturizer then I'm taking my CC cream, so I'm not taking foundation at all, I'm actually taking a CC cream and this one um, is 50 mils I believe but I'm actually taking a highlighter as well, it's about to finish so I might probably leave it there and to blend everything out I'm taking my beauty blender which is nice and spongy and easy to use and then on top of that I'm taking my mascara so simple eye look, simple face look, that's all I need I probably won't be wearing any makeup to be honest when I'm there because every time I go I don't really wear any due to sun I'm taking my little deodorant and it's 35ml I'm taking a hand sanitizer as well because I'll be using that on the plane because it's nasty and I like to sanitize my hands due to bacteria spread toothbrush and toothpaste toothpaste is 25ml so it's great then I'm taking a floss. Ah, my days! I'm taking a floss because I really need one. Um, dentist recommend it. And I'm taking two shavers. If you're a boy, then obviously forget about this step. But as a girl, I'm not gonna be going through my shaving routine. Then I'm taking my hairbrush so I can brush my hair. And on the side, I also have a clip and a few hairbands and a few clips inside. Another things that I'm packing with me is probably not for everybody, so it's actually technology, but probably most of you will take something simple like a camera view, but if you're a YouTuber like me, I have to take a variety of different things, which are not too heavy to be honest, but if you're not a YouTuber and you're just going on a simple trip, probably forget it and move on to the next step. But if you want to stay and listen what I'm taking with me, I'm going to be running through all those things. So first of all, I'm taking my camera, which I'm recording with. It's Canon 700D and it comes with a lens. So that's what I'm taking. Obviously, I have to take a card with me. I'm taking two cards just in case I don't have any space because I'm not taking my laptop with me, although I could, but it's only for three days. So probably not. So just my camera, um, cards and batteries. I am taking two sets of batteries one and another one that I'm recording with right now and I have to charge those batteries so I am taking also a battery charger obviously otherwise good luck another camera that I'm taking is my GoPro because I'll be doing a vlog and I'm taking this GoPro um, selfie stick this cover and also a um, swimming swimming water protecting cover which is just this one on top of that, I'm taking some batteries and to charge those batteries, I am taking a cable. I'm taking two batteries from Smart Tree, Smart Tree, and one from GoPro, which is in my GoPro currently. And I'm taking a card and it has 64 gigabytes. So hopefully that'll be enough for those three days. And the other cards that I'm taking from my camera are 16 gigabytes and eight. So that's 24. 24, yeah, 24 gigabytes. Um, that should be fine because I'll only be taking pictures and I'll record videos. Another thing that I'm actually taking is a speaker. I have this little speaker here that I go, that I take every holiday. And it's this green one and it's actually really good. It's um, X Mini. I'm sure you heard of this, it's really popular. And it's bright green. I, have, I got it as a present from my brother ages ago, I think like a few years ago. But you can actually plug your... Um, USB in it. I'm taking my um, MP3, MP3 iPod, iPod with me. So I'll be listening to my music, and I'm also gonna be taking a charger so I can charge it. And it's just really good to take to your hotel or on the beach. Helps me every time I go. And of course, I'm taking my phone and my charger for my phone. But obviously, as it's a different country and they might have a different plug-in system, I'm taking a connector. And then moving on to useful accessory that you might take. Actually, I'm only taking a small bag with me. This one is from Primark, it's black and it's small and you can put anything in there, like money or everything. And I take this like small bag like that to every holiday because it's just handy and it goes everywhere. But apart from this little bag, I'm gonna be taking my big bag, 
which I'll be using as my like travel bag and I put my food in it and my passport and everything with me but it's just a this size bag because apart from the big bag over there you can also take another small bag but make sure it's not too big yeah that's it really so I hope you enjoyed this little video I hope maybe this what I was talking about helped you in any packing to be honest because these are like the most important things you can take depends where you're going to depends what the weather's like it all depends so do your research first and now I'm going to be quickly showing you how I pack with everything I have here into a bag if you want to see that then stay if not then thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel and wait for the vlog because I'll be making one so see you soon